This is Kevin Mayer, your American correspondent for Real Ale Craft Beer, and today we're drinking Uinta Pumpkin, Harvest Pumpkin Ale. Took me a while to figure out how to pronounce Uinta. I think in earlier video videos I have said it wrong. Did look it up today. That seems to be the correct pronunciation, and it seems to be a Ute Indian word. There are some mountains right out of Salt Lake City, which is where this beer is from, named after that. Uh, where am I here? It's 3% organic. It contains water, barley, hops, yeast, organic pumpkin, and organic spices. It tells me to keep it cold. We have a drink by date of 2 3 of 16. So we do have a few months to drink it. This is nice and fresh. Uh, this is the first weekend in September. And um, so we're drinking this pretty fresh. And it's really one of the first. I think this is also the first pumpkin I've ever seen on a in a can. So let's give it a crack and give it a pour. So it doesn't seem to be overly aggressive of a beer. So we have a typical pumpkin and the fact that it's more orange than yellow. Uh, it is clear, you can see through it. And a little bit of carbonation, not excessive carbonation. There's a few bubbles streaming up through it. And we do have about a finger and a half of just slightly off-white head. Let's do the aroma. So you do get a little bit of dank pumpkin. Maybe a hint of cinnamon. And a hint of nutmeg. But you get a real earthy, dank undertone to it. Real, like, churned earth. Let's do the taste. So, it's a tip, I would say it's a typical pumpkin, and that I get some nice pumpkin flavor, and I get some real cinnamon and um, nutmeg in it, but it's also untypical in the fact that it's not over the top, where the pumpkin and the spices do complement the beer. I think it's a really well-made beer. So you get a little bit of toasted malt up front. A little bit of toasted malt. You get some nice pumpkin flavor undertone at the back of your throat. And then it finishes with just a hint of the cinnamon and the nutmeg. Like I said, very well balanced. It's only 10 IBUs, so it's not like it's going to be bitter. The pumpkin and the uh, spice don't overpower the beer. It's still definitely a nice ale underneath. Uh, would, this would be reasonably drinkable. It, it wouldn't be all that hopped up. It wouldn't be all that flavorful. But it would be a reasonably well-made beer without the spices and the pumpkin in it. That's actually one of the nicer pumpkins I've had because I don't like to be overwhelmed by the spice. Ooh, excuse me. Score wise, I will give this a high C. Uh, if I was going to drink another pumpkin, I would drink this one. Um, so, high C, we'll say a 70 out of 100. Till next time, keep drinking.